Hey guys, my name is Matt Downs and I am a full-time content creator in the sports betting and daily fantasy sports industry. I was able to pivot off of a life I once hated in the banking industry and fully transform my mindset to become a long-term profitable sports better. The best part about all this is that I'm just like you. Well, most likely just like you. I did terrible in school. 2.6 GPA graduated from a small school in Maryland. At one point in my career, my sports betting career, I thought I could beat the books by relying on advanced stats, relying on box scores, looking at the last five, historical matchups, all that stuff. But over the course of two, three, four years, I realized that maybe I didn't have the secret sauce. And that was a hard realization for me because I thought I was a really knowledgeable sports better. And I still think I am, but here's another reality. The sports books will always win. At least with that mindset that you think that you are smarter than the sports books. And if I personally just offended you, you should keep watching this video. And by the end of this video, you will realize that changing this mindset is one of the best decisions you will ever make. I will also take you step by step through my journey so that you understand how sports books actually make money. Once you fully understand how sports books make money off of Beathers long term, you will have that light bulb moment. Everybody needs that light bulb moment. Let's first start out by comparing sports books directly to casinos. You walk into a casino 365 days out of the year, you place bets, you play slots, poker, roulette, you name it. Over the course of those 365 days, you will never walk out with profit. Why is that? Because casinos have a system in place to where you will never win more than 50% of the time. I'm talking every roulette spin you make, every poker bet you make, every blackjack hand you get, every slot spin you get, the odds will always be against you. Let's take an easy to understand example from roulette. You put in $10 for the spin to land on a red number. And if that spin happens to land on red, you get an additional $10, meaning that you walk away with $20. It is treated like a 50 50 bet you put in ten dollars you get an additional ten dollars and twenty dollars comes out very simple however the color scheme on the roulette board is not actually 50 50. there are two additional green numbers at least on the traditional roulette table there are 38 total numbers but only 18 red numbers which means there's really only about 47 percent of red numbers on that board which means you're placing a 50 50 bet technically on a 47% chance to win bet, meaning that the average person walking into a casino, if they were to place $1 bets on 50 bets all on red, that they'd end up walking away with $47 on average. They will always have a net profit margin of minus $3 in that exact example. And if you don't believe me, let's go play roulette together. I'm gonna spin the roulette table a thousand times all in red. Let's see what happens. Okay, it looks like this free version of roulette is giving me $2,500 to play with. So let's just, you know, assume that if I get over $2,500, that's a win. I'm gonna place a thousand bets on red. This is gonna take a while. All right, so move one to red, spin. Oh wow, this is gonna take forever. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm a wagon, I'm the best. Am I really gonna do this a thousand times? Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, black 29, okay. That's such like a degrading sound. Okay, well, let's keep going. Three. And I'm back up. Look at that. I'm whacking. And that's like such a better sound. Let's actually check back in in a second. Guess what? Sports books operate the exact same way as a roulette table, meaning that whatever bet you personally place, you will always have a mathematical disadvantage to the books. Allow me to explain. You can head to any sports book across the world, literally any sports book in the world, and you'll quickly realize that the payout structure is not exactly a 50-50% chance, just like on the roulette table. So for instance, let's take a look here at the LA Lakers versus Denver Nuggets. The spread for the Lakers to cover by 5.5 points is minus 110, which means according to the other side of this bet, for the Nuggets to win by more than five and a half points, you would think, again, this is treated as a 50-50 bet. The minus 110 is one way of interpreting this information as it not being a 50-50 bet. If I put in $100, I should theoretically be, get be getting another $100 back and getting $200 Total. So let's go ahead and test it out. $100. But my payout, as you can see at the bottom, is $190.90. And if I switch over and place the bet at minus 5.5 for the Nuggets, as you can see, the juice, minus 110 is the exact same. If I place $100 on that, I'll get $190.90 back. 
So on whatever side I decide to place, I'm getting $190.90 total, thus proving this is definitely not a 50-50 bet. No matter what size of the bet, no matter what type of the bet, and whatever sport you get, the books will always have added juice on top of all their bets. This guarantees that the sports books profit off of you or whatever other better on the other side, no matter what. Okay, so going back to this, I figured out a way that, well, first of all, I turned off the music because it just annoyed the heck out of me. But, but secondly, I went on a streak where I got like legitimately like 20 blacks in a row. And as you as you can see, I picked it back up and went right back up. It's still not the 2500, but I turned the ship around. Um, okay, so another thing to note here is I got a zero. I got like double zero right off the rip. So odds are not my favorite, but I'm still going. Added juice is how the books get you. In a dumbed down version, it's like charging an extra tax on whatever you buy at a convenience store. If you buy a gallon of milk, let's say for, for $3, right? You're not actually paying $3. By the end of it, you're gonna pay $3 and some change. Yeah, I know there's no direct correlation because that's how the government makes money, but this is essentially how the sports books guarantee that they're always gonna profit in the long run. And I know exactly what you're thinking. Well, if you're telling me that the sports books always win, then what's the point of this video? There is a mathematical advantageous strategy strategy in sports betting where you can stay profitable in the long run by taking everything that I've told you up to this point and making sure that your bets are mathematically going to be profitable. And if you stay to the very end of this video, I'm going to show you the exact strategy that we use that I've personally used over the long run to transition from a part-time sports better and a part-time loser to a long-term profitable sports better. Anyway, you can just click the spin button like really fast, as you can see, just keep clicking my finger is getting so tired that's what she said but this is this is a process i'm literally at 131 132 spins and i feel like i've been clicking for an hour okay <laughs> dude i went up over 2500 i'm i'm now on spin like i'm just under 300 right now i am away <laughs> i'm doing so well the first step in my sports betting strategy, and it's really not reinventing the wheel, it's called the plus EV betting strategy, is to first find the percent edge that every sports book has on every single one of their bets. Let's say that they have a 5% edge. In other words, they add a 5% juice or tax to all their player prop bets. And for the sake of simplicity, let's say a player prop has a minus 110 line on one side and a minus 110 line on the other side. You can also go to any free calculator on the web. This is called a VIG calculator. VIG is another name for juice. The way that the calculator works is that you put the American line on one side on one side of the calculator and the other on the other side. And then it populates the percent juice or VIG. So minus 110 on one side and minus 110 on the other is a 4.76% VIG. Which means if you're just blindly betting on one side of a minus 110 line, you're going to lose profit in the long term. You're going to have a negative profit margin of 4.76%. That profit margin is actually worse than sitting down at a roulette table. Freaking insane. In other words, the average sports better is going to have to win more than 54.76% of the time on a 50 on a 50-50 bet at a sports book with a minus 110 line on one side and, and on the other to remain profitable in the long run. And you don't need to be a mathematics major to fully understand and grasp how these sports books make money. This is how they make money off of casual bettors. The average better is going to sit down on a minus 110 line on either side and place and win only 50% of the time in the long run. The average sports better is only going to win 50% of the time if they were to place a bet with even juice on both sides of the line. But I'm going to teach you how to not be a casual sports better. And back down under 2,500. I think I'm up over 500 now. Yeah, I just hit 500. Oh yeah, I've taken the turn for the worst. I've been hitting like red consistently now, or black consistently. As you can see, I just hit another zero. So like zeros are, are not ideal because again, there's only two of them on the board and they're not red or black. So like, again, just to prove, further prove my point here, these are not 50-50 bets. And it just goes to show you, like, you know, the longer you play, the more zeros you're going to hit, right? Oh, there's another zero. Boom. Oh, there's literally another zero. Wow, that's statistically improbable. All right, so I'm at 750 and I'm down $30 from when I started playing $1 bets. 
Behind every American line is a hidden percent odds to hit, like a true percent odds to hit. In other words, a fair odds percent to hit. To take this a step further, this is when you remove the juice from both sides and find the true percent odds for each side to hit. As explained before, theoretically a minus 110 on one side and a minus 110 on the other should imply that this has a 50-50% chance to hit on one side or the other. The books just don't price it that way. This is where the strategy begins. Oh, look at all these reds. Oh my goodness, look at four in a row. Oh, five, five reds, six reds, seven. 900, I'm at 900 spins, guys. I'm at $2,466. It's gonna take uh, a really good stretch here to get back to 2,500. Now let's go back to our 50-50% odds to hit example. The Lakers to cover the spread by plus five and a half and the Nuggets to win by more than five and a half theoretically has a 50-50% chance to hit because there's no other type of possibility. According to DraftKings Sportsbook, that has a 50-50% chance to hit. But what if I found another sportsbook that priced this spread differently? For the sake of simplicity, let's say that FanDuel Sportsbook priced this exact same Lakers spread at plus five and a half at plus 101. By taking a look at a free implied probability calculator, we can see that this technically, per FanDuel Sportsbook, is pricing this as a 49.75% chance to hit, even after the juice. DraftKings Sportsbook is pricing this as a 50-50% bet, as you can see with the minus 110 being taken out on one side and minus 110 being taken out on the other. Again, the no big fair odds percentage is going to be 50%. But on FanDuel, even after the implied odds have been added, is viewing this as a 49.75% chance to hit. So since there's such a large discrepancy here, it seems like one of these sports books are off. But which ones? Because as you can see, after taking out the juice, one of these two sports books has no idea how to price these odds. Let's take it one step further. Now let's say that DraftKings, a sports book B, sports book C, sports book D, E, F, down the list, all price these exact same lines at minus 110 on one side and minus 110 on the other. So if Sportsbook A, B, C, D, E, and F all price this spread the exact same way, but Vandal Sportsbook prices it a different way, and as you can see has a mathematical advantage, where are you going to place that bet? Probably on the Sportsbook where it's the most mispriced. And literally by just comparing lines, you can see that mathematically, the sports better has an edge in this exact example. The edge is simply this, if you can identify a very good price tag on a specific prop on one sportsbook where the market is pricing it at a different price, then why not take the very good value on a different sportsbook? To break it down into another example, let's say that car dealership A, B, C, D, E, and F all price their Honda Civic, you know, very basic car at $25,000, but you can get that exact same Honda Civic at a different dealership after tax at 24500 which car dealership are you going to buy it from? You're not guaranteeing that this car is going to last you in the long run. You're not guaranteeing that it's going to be a great bet, right? But you are guaranteeing that you're getting a very good value with that specific car. Sports betting does not have to be overcomplicated. And if it is, you're going to lose money in the long term. Oh, six, seven, eight. Uh, and into the eight. All right. I got 10 bets left uh, till I hit 1,000 spins. I can't feel my finger. Let's go one, black, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. I lost $38 from when I started because I was placing 50-50 bets on a 47% chance to win actually bet. Why don't I this? Why not? Let's see. I'm going all in. And as you can see, over a thousand spin sample size, we were not able to remain profitable on the roulette wheel. Because over the long run, the dealer had a mathematical advantage over me as the better. It's the same concept with a sports better. The difference between sports betting and the casinos is that you actually can find advantageous prices across the market based on where you live 
and what region. You can take advantage of the various DFS apps like Prize Picks, Underdog, Fliff, and states where there isn't legal sports betting. And if you can take advantage of sports betting in your state, take advantage of all of the various sports books that offer many different price tags. Now let's actually put this strategy to the test. Let's start out with Fliff Sportsbook. Fliff is available in 42 out of 50 states. So chances are that Fliff Sportsbook is available in your state. Now that you've digested everything that I've talked about to this point, let's actually take a look at a real life example. I'm literally looking at a live sports bet. The New York Nets are priced at minus four and a half, which means they have to win by more than five runs for this bet to hit at plus 365 on Fliff Sportsbook. But the market has average odds of 295, plus 295. You're getting a worse price on DraftKings, Better know Barstool Sportsbook and also Caesars. You're getting the best bang for your buck here on Fliss Sportsbook. This optimizer also breaks it down into a percent odds to hit. According to the market, this has a 23.67% odds to hit. But Fliss Sportsbook is actually pricing this as a 21.5% chance to hit. So per the market, this actually has a better percent odds to hit, and it looks like by four sportsbooks. So if Sportsbook A, B, C, and D all agree on a similar price tag, but Fliff is pricing it at a worse price. Why not head to Fliff Sportsbook and place this bet at, at plus 365? That is how you remain profitable in the long run as a sports better. I know what you're thinking. So, you know, I'm just showing you all these sportsbook comparison tools. I'm showing you how to compare prices and stuff. But who's to say I'm actually profitable? I will tell you this. I've been doing this full time for three years now. Here are my profits over the past year, and here's my profits over the last six months. This one's also focusing on Fliff Sportsbook, who, by the way, has always had a mathematical edge ever since I downloaded the app. I promise you, the second that you start getting away from fundamental analysis and towards technical analysis, actually comparing prices, identifying the value, you will be a long-term profitable sports better. A price comparison tool for DFS apps can be found below in the link in the description. Also, feel free to click on the betting tracker, pick it below in the link in the description to follow all my live bets. You can literally track everything I ever do.